Hey guys, Shazam here again, and this is gonna be a very short video where I'll be using a theory of mine to explain Hashirama's sage mode. So a common question in the community is where did Hashirama get his sage mode from? Some say he learned it from Shikotsu Forest, but that was never even implied and Katsu never mentioned a thing about him, and it seems unlikely as all. Well. Especially since Hashirama never mentioned it either and when he enters sage mode he never summons Katsuyu, but a giant Buddha statue. Which also indicates that it is in some way related to something else. And I think if we take his Keke Genka into account, which is wood release, we can sort of think of how he learned sage mode. So let's go back to the origin of sage mode. I did make a video explaining it, it was my first video. Not very good, but at least it gets the point across. So, eh. I don't know if you should watch it, to be honest. So in order to enter sage mode, one must absorb the energy from nature, and that includes the earth and atmosphere. Now, I'm not sure if that includes seas, oceans, and water in general, since Fukusaku specifies terrains, and I don't think seas fall under that category. But if it does, then that further supports this theory, as wood release is formed of water and earth. We also need to consider that Hashirama stopped moving for only one panel, and he immediately enters sage mode. Keep in mind sage mode takes time to gather from the atmosphere, but Hashirama completely ignored that rule. So if I had to guess, I'd say natural energy is already within his cells which are heavily associated with his wood release. How is that, you might be asking? Well, chakra isn't passively active, but a person needs to convert their stamina into chakra, so here's what I think happens. Hashirama uses his mental and physical energy to create normal chakra which is easy but using up the natural energy or at least converting it into senjutsu is the hard part which is why he does it only when necessary. Holy crap I'm kinda getting confused and can't keep my thoughts together. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. So how does his wood release play a role in his sage mode? Well he creates trees but the more interesting part is that he controls their growth. What do trees need to grow? Carbon dioxide, sunlight, minerals provided in the ground, and Hashirama can provide those somehow with his chakra? Keep in mind Yamato could barely create wood with leaves and the only person who was able to use wood release with such perfection was Hashirama, but can you guess who's the close second to be able to use the ability? Madara. And his body immediately got used to Hashirama's sage mode when he absorbed it and which part of him got the sage pigmentation? The face on his chest, which belongs to Hashirama. Also I should mention, sage mode is kinda hard to control once it's absorbed, but some people can still have it without fully controlling it like Jugo's clan and everyone with the curse mark. But can you guess what else is hard to control? Hashirama cells, and still some people can have it like Danzo, Yamato, Obito. So the conclusion of this theory is that Hashirama has idle natural energy dormant within his cells that he mixes into his own chakra to enter sage mode. Again, that's just a theory, so all of this is likely false and will never be explained. I mean, they haven't explained Naruto's six path sage mode being trash, so yeah. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. The theory kind of confused me, so I'm not sure if I included everything I wanted to include, but if I missed something, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.